Uh, some breaking news coming through right now here on your election command center, Ghana Tonight. These are the declaration of the Wale Wale MPP rerun primaries has been declared null and void and it's of no effect. It was a primary that, in fact, an election that took place earlier today with a number of the MPP that's, uh, the members there uh, duly going out to vote for their preferred candidate between Dr. Tia Kabiru Mahama and Hadia Zueratu, who is also the incumbent member of parliament there. Now, what's happening is that as a result of some interference that took place during the counting and sorting of the ballots that were cast earlier today by those who went out to vote, the Electoral Commission that's supervising this Wale Wale NPP primary rerun has declared that election null and void. That's the information we're coming through with you right now here on your election command center. It's fresh on the plate. It's breaking right now. And my colleague William Evansinkum is there for us. He's connecting with us on Zoom right now to have an update on this. Uh, William, appreciate your time. Thank you for connecting with us here on Ghana tonight. This is the information that you came through earlier some few minutes ago. The Electoral Commission has declared this Wale Wale parliamentary primary rerun for the MPP null and void. What more do we know? Well, absolutely. So according to the Electoral Commission, some of the cast ballots were damaged uh, beyond recognition as to uh, which of the candidates uh, won those affected ballots. And for that reason, they could not assign to any of them. And based on that, uh, they needed to declare the entire result now and void. Now it is up to the National Council of the ruling New Patriotic Party to take a decision. And the third national vice chairman of the party, who also happens to be the uh, election committee chairman, Alaji Masawood Osman, said National Council will take a decision on that. Of, of course, the Electoral Commission said that at this stage, they have nothing to do because they were only invited by the party to conduct the, I mean, supervise or see to the con conduct I and mean, the conduct of this particular election and they have done their part so the rest uh, will have to be executed by the party and that also has also been referred to the higher position uh, and making body of the ruling party as the national council and they will have to take a decision on this particular uh, exercise uh, as to whether there's going to be another way around or they will have to uh, i mean make some level of compromises as far as uh, uh wale wale parliamentary candidate tickets at some time. I see. Uh, and William, stay with me because uh, we have that video of the returning officer making this announcement that because some of the ballot papers were destroyed, they have no option than to declare this election null and void. Take a look. A certain man from nowhere came in and stuck the ballot papers destroy most of them. The police were able to manage to arrest the, the person. He is right now in the police custody. Then we salvaged some of the ballot papers that have been damaged. We brought it to the police station. We called the two sides, Kabiru side, then the uh, Ajia, Laribas uh, uh, people. Ajia people were there. When we call uh, Dr. Kabiru's uh, agents, they came here. If you saw them, they were here. They told us categorically that they will not take part today nor tomorrow. But per our rules, we have to continue to do the sorting. We opened the ballot box. After the sorting, we saw that some of the ballot papers are badly damaged in such a way that you cannot determine it for candidate A, not party uh, uh, candidate to be. We made some consultation, and that was very difficult situation. We found ourselves. As you cannot, some of the ballot papers are damaged, and for that matter, you cannot determine. You see that uh, we have to stop there for the party to take the, their decision on that, whether they will, they, they will ask us to 
continue to do another elections, that one will come from this MPP election. This is an internal party decision. Well, that's an internal party decision, and we're going to wait to see what the NPP will do after today. Because, William, this, this incident that happened earlier that you make reference to reason why the Electoral Commission returning officer we just heard from him indicating that they had taken a decision to declare this election null and void. It followed the same script. And what happened in January, on the 27th of January, that disputed results that, that saw Dr. Kabil Tia Mahama declared as winners with some 345 of the votes as against uh, Ajazul Ratu, who is incumbent, with some 338. That has been quashed. But if you recall, on that same day, similar incident happened. There was some interruption, and then it led to some skirmishes at the, at the counting and sorting center. And as a result of that, that election results was a subject of dispute. Now the Electoral Commission don't, doesn't want to also waste too much time, is it not? And that's why they, they take this position. Well, absolutely. So the only difference is that um, a Tamale High Court nullified the January results, and now the Electoral Commission has also nullified the September results. But it begs one question, and exactly what I asked uh, al Haji Masawudi Osman, because it was the same committee that supervised the January election, and I asked him a very simple question, whether they have failed, the party, uh, because they were supposed to organize the festival uh, election without any uh, uh, hate. But the, the election committee, rather, he will blame the police and, of course, the electoral commission for not protecting the ballots. And uh, exactly what he told me is, uh, uh, I mean, uh, just after that incident. I see. Now, you, you spoke to uh, a chairman of the NPP um, in the region, that is in the constituency, that the Walla Walla constituent specifically, and, and he did give you an indication of what might be the case going forward. I want us to take a listen to him. The, the chair of the election committee, whom you spoke to, this evening, in fact, just about an hour ago, we got this information from the chair of the election committee in that constituency, the Wale Wale constituency. That's the constituency of the vice president, the flag bearer of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Obama. And that's why this is of keen interest to the MPP. And to the extent that these two persons, in fact, Dr. Tiakabiru Mahama is connected to the vice president, the flag bearer of the party. He works with the, Dr. Mahmoud Obama as his economic advisor in the vice president's office, Haja Zueratu. It's also been described as the sister of, of the vice president. And so the vice president has not been openly heard speaking about this matter all throughout the period till now. And in fact, William, with, with the violence that happened today, you are there. This didn't come to you as a surprise, is it not? Because of what happened on Saturday in front of that radio station, the, the, that you know, violence that you, you recorded earlier as well. What you saw today certainly wasn't a surprise, isn't it? Well, absolutely. Uh, make a reference to what happened on Saturday night, yet, maybe yet. But on Sunday, the vice president met the delegates, and of course, the party leadership here. And he was very clear to them that he is not supporting of the party, even though um, he had actually expressed some reservations about how Dr. Kabi uh, handled matters especially working in the same office and he not being in the norm of his intent to contest him uh, in for the Wale Wale MPP ticket. It, it was something that uh, saddened his heart and he found the heart out uh, when he met uh, the uh, party members. Of course, this included the uh, constituency executives and that of the candidate, the reception of Dr. Kabiru, um, who uh, wasn't part of that particular meeting, but some of his supporters, or most of his supporters, were there to listen to the vice president. And many thought that, well, uh, they would listen to the vice president. And of course, uh, we, were, we weren't going to see some level of escalation. Uh, but that did not happen today. Uh, I'm pretty sure, well, I, I don't know what would be going, what would be running through the mind of the vice president if, uh, if, he, if, he, if he see some of the footages. But I, I wouldn't be surprised, I would be so much disappointed um, because we had given them a, a clear directive and there was some level of assurance that they were also going to comfort themselves. But I'm pretty sure that 
as human as he is, he will be very, very disappointed. Mm. Nonetheless, this is a human institution, and sometimes the social scientists will tell you that human beings can be unpredictable. And exactly what we saw this evidence. Indeed, and, and I see the level of security that has been beefed up in that constituency because of all we've seen throughout the day. And where you are standing, there's a, there's a police vehicle behind you with a number of the police personnel on the streets. Paint to us how the security situation looks like as we speak. Well, so it's been uh, centralized at the moment, or let me say, uh, some level of concentration. So um, this is the only part of the town that you see a number of policemen because uh, that a few or behind me is the police uh, is the police station. So behind me is the military vehicles, and then we also have a couple of uh, police vehicles uh, there uh, uh, because there was so much concentration here because the ballot boxes were brought here, and they are still here uh, to uh, because the ballot boxes are still here. So the military men and that of the uh, uh, police and that of the policemen are still here. Uh, protecting uh, this particular place. But beyond this point, I mean, life is normal. I see. Uh, William, appreciate you on this one and all the updates uh, throughout the day, every step of the way, together with the team there, Solomon, William Evans, Incom, uh, Christopher Marco doing some good job there. William Evans, Incom is our Northern Bureau Chief on the ground in the Wale Wale constituency. It appears that your, your day is not going, in fact, not going to end today because tomorrow we're going to have to wait to hear what the MPP will decide in the coming days of whether to have a rerun of this primaries again, that's going to be the third time. And look, there's less than three months to this election. And with the deep cracks we've seen based on the evidence so far with the kind of back and forth with the supporters, the party has a lot of work to do to, as it were, mend those cracks, unite X ranks going into this election. And that seat is not a comfortable seat for the MPP. And the NDC candidate, they're quite strong, and I'm going to tell you that in a bit. But let's do a quick backtrack to what has been happening throughout the day. And, and William has been giving us all the reports. Earlier today, this is what happened. When a gentleman, we understand, by name Masawood, who, according to the Electoral Commission returning officer you just heard, has been arrested by the police now, uh, we, we, we get the indication that this gentleman uh, who stormed this sorting area, a Pentecost church, has been taken into custody. And that led to some violence earlier today and some back and forth in that, in that area where the counting and sorting was taking place. Take a look. So that's just give, give you an idea of what happened today and, and the reports we got earlier with a gentleman with the name Kamara, not, not Mr. Wood as earlier indicated, Kamara. Kamara is a gentleman who, we understand, stormed this sorting place, the Pentecost Church in that constituency, where the sorting was taking place by the Electoral Commission officials, and that led to some confusion, and the police service had to come in there take custody of the ballot box with the ballot papers in there. And that's what you see on the screen right now. They took the ballot boxes and took it away when, uh, uh, to the police station and later brought it back to, to the area for some, at least, an attempt to try and, and count it and, and sort it out. But that's the information that we got earlier. And the, these angry supporters of both Dr. Mahama Tia Kabiru and Hajar Arebazueratu are the ones you're seeing there. And this gentleman, the gentleman you saw on the screen there, uh, is a gentleman that we understand um, stormed the area and was, was picked up. And we're going to show you that a bit. That's the gentleman um, whom the, the police and they uh, also got in there. They, uh, and then also you had some supporters of, of both candidates not too happy about it. He, one picked a stone 
um, threatening to, to go in there and disrupt the process. And the Ghana Police Service and a number of the personnel were deployed there to ensure that there is some law and order in that constituency. This is the NPP Wale Wale primary rerun. It, it did not turn out to be as expected by the party. Tensions were very high going into this election today, at least based on what we monitored 48 hours before uh, the election took place today. So that's the development right now and, and how things played out. After this, that led to the destruction of some of the ballot papers that has led to the decision by the Electoral Commission now to declare this result null and void. So that's the development right now coming through and the series of events that have led to this moment. This is your election command center. We're keeping an eye on, on this and then also how things will play out, especially with the decision that the NPP will take going forward, whether a rerun or a decision to have one of the two persons or a neutral person represent the party in that constituency. It's a crucial one for them because it's the home constituency of the flag bearer of the party, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, and the NDC candidate there is a former minister of the Northern Region. In 2016, he was Northern Regional Minister for nine months before that election. He contested that constituency on the ticket of the NDC in 2016, 2020 as well, and he's the same person going into the 2024 election. So we'll see how things play out. But he as the chairman of the election committee for the MPP in the Walawale constituency, al Haji Masawood Osman, saying that the National Election Committee, the NEC, will take a decision after the Electoral Commission uh, declared the results null and void. Take a look. We started around 10 and voting was smooth. There was no any chaos. There was no any problem until when sorting is, is, is being done. Sorting was going on. Sorting was not ended, as the EC said, and <clears throat> some, uh, somebody just came to what to distract it but in all we have brought everything got so being good everything has been collected and put in the custody of police when the EC came for now we as a party we are not in charge of the election the EC are conducting and supervising the election from the EC map as he said to you that because of the distraction of the papers. They couldn't find the papers, the ballot papers were not in, it was inadequate. Some of them are torn. So it was very difficult for them to count it so that to know how number of votes Mr. A got and how number of votes Mr. B got. So in that case, it was an annual uh, election for the EC. So they have annulled, the EC have annulled the election and give it to the party to uh, to take a decision. Yeah, I am the national third vice chairman of the New Patriotic Party, and I am the election committee chairman. I was I, I was very very disappointed in this situation as a chairman, very disappointed. But what are we going to do? This is a matter that has been concluded by the EC of annulling the uh, East, election. the election of not a, not not completed. But as a party, I am, I am the third vice chairman, as I told you. I cannot say much here. We are going to set every matter to the national party so that, inshallah, the national council of the party, which is the second highest body of decision making, they will decide on Wale Wale matter. I spoke to the general secretary how the election ended up. I've told him the election, as of now, currently we are in Wale Wale in a police custody. But as of now, I did not communicate formally to him the, what the EC said. Because when I'm coming, he just met me. So from here, I am communicating to the general secretary. This is what happening in Wale Wale. So we have ended the election here. There is no resource uh, declared, no counting.
We remain the old election command center and there's a breaking news coming through right now. We've been building up to it and giving you all the details on every side of it here on your election command center. The Wale Wale primaries for the MPP, the results have been declared null and void by the electoral commission because some of the ballot papers have been destroyed. And that's what we've been giving you details of.